new posting for the CDL driver for solid waste with a new job description. And we'll be bringing that back before the board uh, next week. And uh, this has to do with the issue that was brought up last week. My concern was that uh, applicants that were discussed last week did not meet the requirements on the job description. Uh, so what we've talked about going forward is uh, updating the job description and reposting the position and we will let all of the current applicants who applied under the original posting know that uh, they are welcome mm -hmm. to apply for the updated posting. Yeah. So there was nothing underhanded, there was nothing um, political. Again, we were just wanting to make sure that we were following the requirements listed in the job description uh, for applicants to the position. And I think it's important to note that the job posting, though, did allow for an exception for a B-rated driver compared to the actual job description, which required an A. So we're going to be modifying the job description as well as making sure that the job posting matches what are we're looking for in candidates. So there's no question. So with that, I'll make a motion to adjourn solid waste. I will second. Roll call lane. Yes. 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 So we will reconvene to the board of commissioners meeting. Have a great day, everybody. You too. Me too. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome. It's like right now. Yeah. I think Amy put on here first. Um, if we have any questions for um, Todd or Joanne, to please on the consent. let them know now. So, yes, on the consent, so they can go do what they need to do before yeah, so keeping see. them in here. I know uh, Joanne with uh, this internal services, it's resolution eight. I know we're doing something with Cuyahoga County. I know we do something with Summit County now. How many counties do we have an agreement with as far as the coroner goes? Those are the two that I'm just aware the two. Of. Yeah, okay. Just Summit and Cuyahoga. Okay. nine I have a question I'm trying to read my own writing here that's the regional planning building right yeah. The, yeah well that's what I knew that but has it ever happened before that we just couldn't sell a building and what do we, we do not got bids before yeah. this is the very first property that we've ever tried to mm -hmm. sell that we okay because Todd so, was very concerned last night I mean I you know at the regional planning meeting yeah. and I felt kind of bad for him yeah. even talking you know yeah so, but the 250,000 sales price the minimum bid still puts us at covering everything I, I too had a question about that. How do we, how is that 250,000 amount determined? Well, originally there was a an appraisal done. Todd had one done on their building, which came in, gosh, now I can't like even tell you what it was. 372. That had, that had them set the original bid that we wanted <coughs> 299,000 and we got no bids. We advertised it two different times or the, the month-long period that you have to, and we've got no, no responses, no, not even any phone calls. So their board met again and then decided to lower the price to see if we could generate some interest again. So, yep. um, but it was, you know, much less than what the appraisal said it was valued at, but they're trying to sell. We're just not getting any papers. Yeah, and well, and the board also met with Kikos, who said that we'd be lucky to get 150 to 200 for it. So we came oh, down wow. halfway, yeah, to 250 to see. I didn't even hear that. That's because the only way that we can get rid of it is through the bid process. And if we're not getting bids, the only way to get a bid is to keep dropping the sales price. So. Do you have any questions for Todd? I don't. I have the same questions that you have. Okay. So I have a question, but I think Jean. Yeah. Um, all right, thanks, thanks guys. Thanks. Thanks. thanks so much. You bet. Okay. <coughs> Do you keep you guys waiting? Yeah. Come on up. Come on up. Jay, did you speak to Jack Cole? Jack Cole.
Mm-hmm. You did. Well, I it was to you and to uh, John. No, the guy in Sisson Evans. John Evans. Yeah, you, you didn't do that. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. I'll send it. All right. So this is for the beach pump station in Murfield Township. Mine's out there in that room. There's signs in the You were notified by the texting coordinator that this property, um, and you have an interest in obtaining ownership of the parcel. Of the parcel. It's going delinquent taxes. So right now we have a sewer easement that runs through this property. Mm-hmm. It goes back to our beach crest pump station, which was previously a wastewater treatment plant that was Bolingbrook Company, and that was turned over to the county, I believe, in 1961. So right now we do have an easement, and I guess we just have to determine if that's something that the county would want to take ownership of. I have a question, and I didn't have time to look it up. Is there actually any improvements on that property from the aerial view? It does not look like it, it's a vacant lot. Yeah, but it looks like it. Okay. It looks like it was an easement. Yeah, I see the flag shape but yeah, where the easement goes back to your guys's. I just couldn't tell if there was actually anything on there. Mm-hmm. And someone just... I think the lot was originally carved out with the intent of when they built the development back there to provide for the wastewater plant that was originally built. And then after the fact, probably because of the proximity and the direction of the wind, just looking at it, I would try and maintain that buffer to the residential part. Yeah. Now that has no longer a billable lot, I guess, from somebody's perspective. Even, I don't think it would meet the current zoning in terms of required frontage, so it would require zoning variance to even build back there. And why would you want to build next to it? So, uh, the real issue bothers me, you know, whenever we take property off the tax rolls, you know, that's just not necessarily a good thing for the township or for the county. So the question is, if we do acquire it, can we carve off that flag piece and at least maybe offer it to the adjoining property owners, either by sale or a gift, putting it back on the tax rolls and still maintain our entrance point to the facility? We'd have to put it out as a bid. Exactly. But yeah. But if nobody officially requests by bid to take the parcel, then we could come back and maybe offer it to them to get it back on the tax that sounds like a plan. Yeah. That sounds good, Jim. Okay. We have one add on to and that was the um, authorizing the execution of the memorandum of understanding between Portage County and the You know what? I have some corrections on that. I don't know who typed up the resolution, but um, up at the top, it says authorizing the execution of, and it should be a, a memorandum of understanding. And then down at the bottom, well, and continue with that, between Portage County Board of Commissioners, and there should be a space, and it should have the village of Manaway. And then in the first, whereas, um, it says the county and the village entered it should say into a water and wastewater contract services agreement and i'm sorry i was looking at this at midnight so i didn't think you want me to there could be more <laughs> no, no that's the only ones that i i saw when i reviewed it i had a substantive issue rather than just a typo I well i did too a second. you know what and i have one more thing i wasn't done but on the resolution for the village of Manaway, it says the county and the village agree that the memorandum of understanding terminates on or before July 31st, 2019. We have June 30th. That's it, that's it, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, wait, it says terminates on or before, so I guess the before, but I think it would look better if you, if we had it correlate, just say terminates on July versus on or before. You see down here, it's like That's the line. Yeah. I think the dates don't match. Doesn't one of them say June 30th? 19, right. and one says 
and they're both 2019. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the original agreement for the services to be provided by Water Resource started in 2018. Okay. But that's yeah. the difference. Yeah. But that's not. Yeah. What yeah. I'm this one. Yeah. Where the is final this agreement. In our packet. I'm having trouble finding it. I'm sorry. It's an yeah. It was so. like an extra thing. It says please add to your agenda. It was. It's clipped on the back of Waters. Yeah. Do you have, I just need a minute to find it. Yeah. It should be there. there it goes. Goes. And then June, did you sit down at the bottom? I think, uh, I think you already read Mark that down here. But mm -hmm. Because we ended in April, so it would be May, June, July. So that is correct. So July 31st, so yeah. this one would change to yeah. July then. So, yeah, extending the original agreement through, it should be July, July. 31st then. Correct. It's in the first where I asked you. That was my issue too. Because so theirs is correct. Ours just needs our resolution just needs to work. We want to pass those resolutions now. They're not in the consent agenda, are they? As the single standalone is not my understanding is not a no. agenda. We had items eleven and twelve and right. thirteen. Yeah, so it's to add on that could pass as amended. Uh, amended. Yeah, I'll make a motion to um, pass the draft resolution as amended, authorizing the execution of the memorandum of understanding between Portage County Board of Commissioners and the Village of Manaway. Second. Roll call in. Sabrina. Yes. Kathleen. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Do you want us to go in executive session yes. for compensation? I'll make a motion to go in executive session for G1 for the compensation of a public employee. Second. Roll call in. Serena? Yes. Kathleen? Yes. Yes. 